Hello, I hope you're keeping warm. At the beginning of February, we celebrate Imbolc. If you never heard about it, it's a Celtic festival. Imbolc marks the midpoint between winter solstice and spring equinox. It's the first of spring festivals that celebrates return of the sun, new beginnings and promise of spring. For our ancestors, Imbolc meant that winter hardships are coming to an end. This was definitely reason to celebrate and express gratitude for safe home and food. I started following the Wheel of the Year about 5-6 years ago as a way to reconnect with nature and its cycles. From the beginning, Imbolc was one of my favorite celebrations. In the midst of grey, cold winter, home life and color, baby lambs on the fields and first spring flowers are reminders that dark and difficult times don't last forever and the sun will always return. Isn't this the most beautiful lesson for our life? One of the simplest ways to celebrate in bulk is to light candles. Candles bring us light in the darkest of nights and in the pagan tradition they would be lit to honor the sun. The fire symbolize burning the old in preparation for new beginnings. Food is a big part of Imbolc. Traditionally, this festival would be celebrated with dairy products like milk and cheese, seeds that symbolize new beginnings and growth, and root vegetables or squashes because it's still winter. I am making an easy yogurt and oat bread with pumpkin and sunflower seeds. It's a very easy recipe that I learned a few years ago at yoga workshop. I am going to cook pumpkin soup to serve it with the bread. This is the very last of the pumpkins that I saved from the last year, which makes this meal really special.
involve is time of reflection. Looking back at last year, letting go of things and planning for the future. Planting seeds, both real and metaphysical, is one of the oldest rituals. What we plant now, we will harvest later in the year. Allow yourself to dream and visualize. You are planting the seed in your own mind, giving yourself a clear direction for the months to come.